And uh, in chemistry, we talk about solids, liquids, and gases. And you can burn a candle and, and teach about solids, liquids, and gases because the solid parts in here. It turns into a liquid as you melt it, and the, the melting of the liquid uh, causes the liquid to actually climb up this central wick that it has, and it turns into a gas in the wick because of the flame. But that gas then turns into a plasma, which you see the energy of in that little flame. It's a very, very cheap form of plasma, but uh, we can see the vaporized paraffin when you blow out the candle for a couple of seconds, that little white smoke trail is actually vaporized paraffin, and it's very flammable. If I can actually light that vapor trail, the candle will relight without me touching the wood. Every once in a while, the old tricks are the good ones, they still have. Uh, this one was too small to actually raise on its own, but this one's still uh, alive and kicking. This uh, balloon is filled with hydrogen. You've already seen the show, which is the last video you did. Um, there's a couple of chemical reactions involved. One was the reaction of the, the, uh, the zinc, which is in mossy form here, which looks like uh, some really bad granola. And that uh, really bad granola zinc is put into uh, a beaker with some acid, and it causes the hydrogen. This is dramatic. <laughs> Things full of hydrogen, you know what's going to happen. Let's just get to it. I have to wear glasses. Why? Because there's some things that happen that you can't count on. There are things that you don't know are going to happen, so you prepare for the unexpected. So this is the type of thing that would happen that we're considering to be an unexpected thing that you would have to prepare for. Wear goggles because we want you to protect your eyes. You never know what's going to happen. And you cannot always predict what's going to happen, so you prepare for the young spectrum. You've heard of the uh, horse whisper? Myself well, <laughs> you have to take a They have to solve for the So that it's totally big right in the sky. And at least the surface area of what was able to do. I was running out of the sky. Now it's daybreak. It's deep.